Hi there and welcome back to the Children of Atlantis, Friends of the Stars. We have mastered nature now. We can clear blockers easier and we can go for land clearance, which will be awesome in the future. So why not go for it? Why not go for it right now? Why not see if we can expand our home that we so much love and clear the lands once we have enough energy credits, though. So, um, there's another thing to do. We want to build another star base. Before we want to build that, we want to expand Habrak Station to the maximum defense. But then there is something up and we should probably go for diogenes as there's two planets there very good planets so well not very good planets at least good planets anamoy would be another possible thing but probably we should first protect the core and then the borders we have a border that should be protected against the Dominion of Yig. They are the only ones that have claims on us, so um, they are the ones we must protect against. And the others, the other star bases will follow the logic. I think that is um, logical or something. Yeah. Um, so strengthening the power of the core empire would be the main thing we'd want to do. Well, Habrak Station, yeah. And um, also, we can already start and build defense platforms there. Look at that, they are much cheaper now. Why is that? Because of Chairman Louis Little, who will secure the borders. Let's have a look. Um, wait, here. Already we want to build uh, something missile-ish, something fleet-ish, and something with gunnery. There we go. Just so we have a good start. And we have, oh, we have Migo refugees arriving. From the star spawn of Cthulhu Blessed Order have arrived in our space. They've been allowed to settle on Ishara Secundus. Really nice. These unfortunate outcasts were forcefully expelled from their homes by the starspawn of Cthulhu authorities. They've been traveling from system to system since then in a desperate attempt to find new homes before the last of their dwindling supplies were used up. Well, um, of course we welcome them. We welcome them. Look at them. Oh, they are authoritarian. Ah, you need to learn that authoritarian is not the way. We have more natural sociologists here. They are weak natural sociologists and intelligent. So they will be excellent researchers in time. Uh, let's actually uh, exchange them with... Can we do that? Yes. You should go here. Exchange. Hello, there we go. That would work better, right? Ah, Ishara Secundus. Yeah, unfortunately you're under sector control right now. But with a magnetic miracle, we'll have a lot coming in. Um, we'll need to remove that massive glacier here and move the reassembled ship shelter over there. That will be really great. So, we'll save up a bit, just a bit. Special project included. <gasps> and the special project of the trees is complete. We have learned that the roaming forests on Theophrastus Prime avoid certain regions that are home to colonies of a native pseudo insect. These insects secrete a pheromone that can be used to steer the wandering trees away from population centers. Furthermore, the areas where the forests most frequently range have been closed off as nature reserves. Our biologists can learn much by studying this reserve from the neighboring regions. Very good. They, these are the wandering forests now. And uh, 
we will have excellent improving society research on neighboring tiles ah now they bonded again let's see society research plus three wow so they are they've been put here and here and here we'll have plus three research with docile wandering forests. The wandering forests on this world now avoid populated areas and no longer cause damage to settlements. Their presence still limits the amount of free land available to colonists. Well that's we don't care. That's that's okay. We we respect these these beings. Flying polyps galactic empire, yes. Uh, Non-aggression pact. Hmm. Worrying. Target up the computer. Well, we need more defense platforms then. Um, have we? We have two fleet classes. Let's go for a third one. Ooh, the Migo. They have. Oh God, they've lost everything. Or have they not? I think they did exchange some systems only. It's. Receiving transmission. Odd. Oh, the deep ones are opening borders. We no longer see any reason to keep you locked out of our territory. Our borders are open to you again. Well, if you are friendly, we'll be friendly as well. Because of mutual threats. That's very interesting. Non-aggression pact with a galactic Migo. The galaxy presents enough threats without having to worry about a war between the children of Atlantis. The galactic Migo consciousness. We suggest entering into a non-aggression pact to mutually secure peace. Well, of course, Migo. Of course. We're cordial right now. A defensive pact is out of the question for now, but others might not be. Equivalent, my god. Look at that. The trust is coming. The trust. Yeah, we, we would be the perfect friends. Come on, Migo. Get your stuff together. We can make this universe a great place of friendship, equality and materialism, first and foremost. Habrak. Yeah, there we go. Bastions and trading hubs. We've got the fleet coming. Uh, oh, it's already at full strength. The Iron Age. The Bronze Age aliens of Bakirik's Lax Trick have advanced sufficiently in their use of metallurgy to be considered an Iron Age civilization. The tools and weapons they make use of are becoming more effective and the architecture of their cities has become more elaborate and while doing that I use my pencil to paint strange patterns on my fingers probably tentacles of Cthulhu their civilization has now spread to cover most of the planet and some of their largest cities are home to nearly a million individuals it was bound to happen Yeah, these are the guys we we want to enlighten. Oh, they are militarists now as well. Well, millions, okay. Well, at least a little bit better now. Let's have a look at the first fleet too. They can use something. At full strength, they are not really, right? 550, there we go. Oh, probably the the fleets are on the way then. Okay. That's another thing. Can you feel the presence of the dark stars coming? The Dominion of Yig. Look at that. A black Research hole, concluded. not in their territory. There's something suspicious going on, probably. Dangerous wildlife removal. Making the planet safe. 
tactical disruption of natural habitats combined with converging search and destroy patterns can effectively <coughs> eliminate hostile wildlife in a very short span of time. We'll of course preserve them in our zoos and make them uh, watchable by everyone. So we'll not destroy them, we'll just catch them. That's how we are. The noxious swamps, that would be a great next step. Although the leader lifespan is really, really tempting. We're bound to make this happen. Come on, noxious swamps. Yeah, MIGO research agreement also works out. So this is gonna be pretty good. Ishara. Um... We wanted to do this, clear the massive glacier, and then move the reassembled ship shelter to the massive glacier here. Um, no. Yes, maybe. No, we wanted to move it. Let's cancel this. We wanted to move it here, that's a better place. So let's actually demolish that thing and build it here. And let's just start with a planetary administration. We need to make Ishara great. Completed the research of disruptors as well. Disruptors fire high energy bolts that weaken and destroy the molecular bonds that hold the target's constituent atoms together. They are capable of passing through shields and armor to wreak havoc directly on enemy hull and crew. Very strong weapons. We're happy we have them. Boris Dudnik. What will you go for next? Cetramine gas would be very tempting. Plasma throwers would be also quite good. Hmm. Maybe let's see. Cetramine gas. Hmm. We have no one for particles at the moment. About our leaders, yes. I mean... We have Boris Dudnik. He's doing the physics research. And Ganarth of Good is gaining skill. Gaining a lot of skill. That'll be very good. Look at that! Oh, congratulations, Captain Rudy. You're 100 now, nearly. Bah crazy stuff happening here. Uh, let's have a look at Habrak Station. Fleet class, gunnery class, maybe another gunnery... Yeah, our missile class is missing. Let's go for a missile class. Clear. An alien empire has established communications, but which one? We don't know. How about you? Soon, maybe. Maybe, baby. Morigaf. The Astani, yes, of course. The Cardinal of the Fifth Sun. Of course, our defensive pact friends, the Galactic Migo. It's, it may be coming, the I High Star League. They also, they are receptive right now. Yes, uh, form a non-aggression pact. Be unable to attack each other while this is in effect. This will increase their trust of us. Yes, totally. The Galactic Moon Beasts. Mm, don't want to do anything. Wary, these aren't also good. Other things not really that great. Why has this happened? Are we stronger now? Yes, we are getting a little bit stronger. So, and there's this. We cannot see what either of us would stand to win from a war. We agree to enter into a pact of non aggression. Yes, very good, I eyes. Diogenes, 
is going for the third Construction project thing concluded. in the queue. And then we can upgrade. Old Sun fished. Very nice. The fleets are growing. Oh, the, the trade treaty with the great race of Yith has timed out. Yeah. Um, <laughs> the bribe treaty, yes. <laughs> Let's see. So good. Hmm. Should have done that much earlier. The Ebion State are at war with the Gug Assembly. Oh my god. Merm Collective and the Gug Assembly. <coughs> These hive minds, they have it tough. They really have it tough. And now and here, missile class, gunnery class. Lightning class, no. Yeah, let's go for another gallery. It's, it will be okay. Louis Little has leveled up. The, our chairman will now get a lot more unity. Let's see. Can we free some more space here? Mm, yeah, we can, but we don't need to. We need to build something, though. I think a hydrophonics farm is in order. If the Deros is coming here. What have we here? We should build a farmer robot. We should build a farmer robot here as well. But oh, we don't have the minerals. It's getting crazier. Diogenes Prime. Yeah, we could remove something here. Um, how about Quicksand Basin or the active volcano. I think that's not bad. Let's let's start with that. Wait, 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 wait. We need something here. Hmm. Though we need something else first. The basic. Yeah, let's start with the basic science lab and we'll have a unity building here. And there we go. More forest research. We've learned a great deal by living in proximity of the wandering forest on Theophrastus Prime. At night, you can hear their whispering in the leaves. Some enterprising colonists have even built homes in the treetops of some of the larger specimens following the forests around as they migrate across the planet. Some of the foremost biologists in the children of Atlantis have spent time studying these unique trees. Excellent. Really nice, really good. Research concluded. And Xeno Hydraulic Mastery also being able to remove the noxious swamps. swamps. Sapient races have been reclaiming swampland for thousands of years. Even the cursed swamplands of the Shogoths have been reclaimed by now. A coordinated system of modular aqu aqueducts, pump stations, chemical remediation crawlers, and automated soil compactors can reclaim land at unprecedented speeds. But 
Is that good? Is that moral? It is necessary, though, to keep us going. Living state would be very tempting. Atmospheric filtering would be really good, though. Just a 5%. Just that. Just very good. Look at that, Miko. Giving us the ups there. We can clear that. Let's do that too. Blocker cleared. Nature will not stand in the way of progress. What have we here? Could remove more. But not yet. It's all okay. Why are you? You're egalitarian and intelligent. You should like this. Probably has no robot to play around with. Brachium. Brachium will actually be added to the Hippocrates sector. James Finnegan Jr. has also leveled up. Nice. The genius. The genius successor to our president. Also growing old right now. Unfortunately. Look at the what? At age sixteen. At age sixteen, Tigid Kara is already uh, expertise in propulsion. Wow. Scientist Fatima Aboud. Yeah, she'd be she'd be good. Expertise industry is is a very good place to be. Project concluded. Diogenes Secundus has finished its surface construction queue. Let's go for what? Natural sociologists. Well, biology then. Could maybe remove this deep sinkhole, but we'll save our energy credits for now. So, thank you for watching. Let's find a dark space to look at. Tuning out. Maybe we had the last dominion, right? We could look at the eye highs. Yes. What will we do next time? We'll expand massively as we do right now. I think everything is running fine, so. We'll definitely expand our fleets and our power. We'll grow. So, there, there. Inefficient planet management. That will go away. We'll care for that too. Eye highs from Mars. The eye highs were friendly enough in the, in the Tacitum way. They had tolerated the intrusion of terrestrials, had permitted commerce between the worlds. Their languages had been mastered, their history studied by terrene savants. But it seemed that, that there could be no real interchange of ideas. Their civilization had grown old in diverse complexity before the foundering of Lemuria. The darkness continent, its sciences, arts, religion were hoary with inconceivable age. And even the simplest customs were the fruit of alien forces and conditions. The figures, nearly ten foot in height, was taller by a full yard than the average eye high, presented the familiar conformation of massively bulging chest and bony, many angled limbs. The head was featured with high flaring ears and pit like nostrils that narrowed and expanded visibly in the twilight. The eyes were sunken in profound orbits and were wholly invisible save for tiny reddish sparks appeared to burn suspended in the sockets of a skull. Thank you for listening and watching. Make Thulu guide your dreams. We'll see each other in the next episode. Happy gaming.